when you first launch MPC Beats, you can select which type of workspace you want to use. You can select between a simple or an advanced mode. As the name suggests, the advanced mode has more features, but it would depend on your workflow which mode you might use. I will show you how to switch between the two modes. We are currently in the MPC Beats simple mode. We're looking for view, then workspace. We are now in advanced mode. You can see that there have been some changes to the user interface. You can switch back to simple mode by following the same steps. You can see now that the user interface has changed back to simple mode. Here are the various features you can select from the toolbar. If a certain feature isn't appearing in the toolbar, you can select it by clicking on the down arrow. You can select the different features you might want to use, even in simple mode. I will go through these features in more detail in a future video. We will start with the recording features for simple mode. You have a metronome for keeping time and recording. The time counter indicates the current playhead position. The BPM counter where you can increase or decrease the tempo. You have tap tempo where you can click the desired rate of the tempo. The sequence master button allows you to set whether the sequence follows its own tempo or a master tempo. In the advanced mode you have access to more features for recording. TC stands for time correction. When activated, note values will snap to the grid depending on the time divisions that have been set here. Here is the swing feature. You can click here to set the swing amount from 50% to 75%. Click here to record armor sequence. Once activated, you can click play to start recording. This is the overdub button. When enabled, you can record events in a sequence without overwriting any previously recorded events. This is retrospect record. Click here to capture recently played MIDI events and add them to the playhead. This can be used to capture a performance when record was not enabled. This button enables the punch-in feature. This allows you to record over a specified length of time in a track while recording. You will only record over the punch-in and punch-out markers under the blue bar. Click here to stop playback. Click play to play the sequence from the playhead's current position. Click the play start button to play the sequence from its start point. The in and out boxes here indicate that MPC Beats is sending and receiving MIDI signals from external hardware. The CPU meter shows the software's current usage of your computer's CPU. You can change the automation of all programs in the project from read to write. This is the auto scroll button. There are three settings for auto scroll. Follow, the editor will scroll in the background while keeping the audio playhead centered. Page, the editor will move to the next page to follow the audio playhead the keyboard button. There are three settings for the keyboard button. Off, the pad keys and MIDI keys are switched off. Pad keys, this enables your computer keyboard to play the 16 pads on the current pad bank. MIDI keys, this enables your computer keyboard to enter or play a range of 17 MIDI notes. The volume meter shows the software's master output level and you can adjust the output level with the slider. This has been an overview of the simple and advanced mode in MPC Beats. Thanks for watching.